I saw this on Twitter, and it's just about just about the funniest stuff I've ever seen. Okay, just about the good, just a true Rick and Morty moment. Okay, come on into the garage and turn over the Twitter the Twitter profile. Okay, look, we turned ourselves into a colonized people ethno state. This is the Black Hammer Group. They're the people who called Anne Frank a white colonizer. I think, uh, you know. Uh, they're, these people are paid by the CIA, yeah, just to be perfectly straightforward, yeah. They're one of those, like, black Nazi groups, you know? Like, Nazis, but they're black, we talked about this, that type of, you know, that, that whole thing, we've done this. I don't want to waste any more time explaining the incredible intricacy with which these dipshits form their political opinions, but they're CIA, forget ye not. Look at this, okay? Thanks to you all, Black Hammer has successfully liberated 200 acres of land to build our city for colonized people only. We are located high in the mountains, 10,000 feet in the air with rich soil. We have one lake and three rivers on the land. And there are like so many questions that I have about all of this. First of all, did they purchase this land? Probably not. Is this indigenous land? I think this is indigenous land. Did they just like, did they, are they colonizing? Are they? I think they're doing it, guys. I think they're doing the thing. Also, is this good soil? Guys, does this look like arable soil to you? Is it? Are we going to farm here? <laughs> what? What is this? This is... Jesus. At least they're going to have plenty of fucking kindling for fires that they light while huddling around their tents. Gee wrong biome, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> they can, they can eat bugs and suck the lichen off rocks, I guess. Oh, man. Yeah, well, see if these people ever played Civ 5 or anything? Come on. Um, anyway, colonized people only, all right? Well, only the colonized can colonize here, okay? Vibin, good. Glad they're having fun. Very arable land. <laughs> Even the trees aren't great. Even the trees are like a muddy brown. I'm glad they're happy. And here's the river, I guess. Oh, man. <laughs> this is so good. So I'm guessing this is some kind of like cult thing. You know, these people are absolutely crazy. The Black Hammer people just just beyond the pale, you know, so I'm assuming this is some weird, weird cult thing like um, like there's going to be some Jamestown shit going on down here or some <laughs> gonna drink some bad lemonade. I don't know. Good luck to these fine Nazis. They called Anne Frank a they called Anne Frank a bleach demon. Yeah, we're, we're very creative with our anti-Semitism over here in the black separatist community. Um, I think I saw one of them post about you. I'm like the most hated person to these people. So yeah, that makes sense to me. I actually saw conservatives who were seeing this going like, base, yeah, all black people, get off our land, go onto indigenous land, <laughs> take care of each other. So, you know, we're all serving each other's needs. This got uh, massively ratioed as, uh, as is good, as is good in the world, you know, which I'm fond of. And I swear to you, I quote tweeted this. This is so good. This is from their site. Okay, look at this. Reparations. Everyone get ready. Are you white? Do you want to help? Do you want to be a good person on the right side of history? The only way you can wash the blood off your hands is through following the leadership of African, indigenous, and colonized people and paying reparations for all that's been stolen in your name. Right now, the Black Hammer Org is offering several ways to pay reparations. Become a recruit of the Reparation Corps, make monthly reparation payments, contact us to give your skills, possessions, land, etc. as reparations. And then they have, I shit you not, payment tiers. The Shea level, $40. The Sankara level, $99. But with an additional 25%, you get an exclusive piece of Black Hammer gear. And then the Mao level, $199. Pay an additional 25% and receive an exclusive piece of Black Hammer gear. Mao level plus. Get some gear. This reads like parody, but it's not. These people are real. This is a real thing that some real human being typed up. Well, being paid by the CIA, mind you, so. 
Or is the Stalin level? Yeah, I guess there, maybe we only got four screen caps in this post. Maybe we have like the St the Lenin level, the Stalin level, you know, so on and so forth. Really good. For, by the way, first of all, I really appreciate how deeply offensive it is. The idea that reparations as a concept is something that should be doled out by giving land and money to a group of black separatists. This is actually pretty anti-black in general. Can you imagine if you're some regular black dude? You know, just sipping, just sipping some coffee, enjoying the paper in the morning, and you hear just like some massive wealth transfer from white people to a bunch of black separatists who found the driest piece of earth on the planet somewhere, uh, like indi on indigenous land, and they're like, "Well, we did reparations," and you like look down, you look up, and you're like, "Okay, all right, take another deep sip." Yeah, this is essentially um. What do they call it? What are these? Um, the thing Martin Luther had an issue with? What are these called? Indulgences. Indulgences. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. So good. So, so, so good. Um, I wonder if they're gonna have their own Martin Luther. You know? Yeah, Martin Luther coming back. The Black Panther Party considers separatists to be unhelpful LARPer. Oh, the original Black Panther Party was super based. As a general rule, if you see people online who are like tankies and they're citing the Black Panther Party, they probably wouldn't have been led into the actual Black Panther Party. They might be led into the new Black Panther Party, which is a black separatist org led by anti-Semites, but the original Black Panther Party was filled with, get this, cool people, and being that tankies are very uncool, uh, they wouldn't be let in. Cultural nationalists see the white man as the oppressor and make no distinction between racist whites and non-racist whites. They also emphasize that a black man cannot be the enemy of the black people. Apart from questioning the validity of this thesis, Newton and Seal were irritated by the fact that the cultural nationalists mainly met and talked and did nothing concrete to end the oppression of the black ghetto. Hey! <laughs> Does that sound familiar? Well, anyway, we're uh, fixing racism over here in, uh, what is this, the uh, surface of the sun? God, it's got to be hot out there. Maybe not. He's wearing a black hoodie, I guess. I don't know. Well, whatever. Anyway, great stuff. I wish them well. The next time we'll hear about them will probably be in about six months when we hear a death reported. Possibly multiple deaths. And uh, that'll probably be all we get. You know? Uh, uh, by the way, a final PSA. If you're white, please don't give any money out of these people to guilt. First of all, you shouldn't feel guilty for your race. It's cringe as hell, okay? Please stop and don't unironically do the white guilt thing, okay? Because I know a lot of you have it. Uh, the, the group of people who have the... Oh, sorry about that. The Twitter video played. The group of people... Oh, no! The Twitter video that played was exactly what I'm talking about! No! No, 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 don't do it! No, white man! I'm back. This is I, and I'm a recruit for the Black Hammer Organization's no! Reparations Corps. Join us every single Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to follow the biggest and the baddest anti-colonial organization in organizing your community against white nationalism. Keep in mind, their enemies aren't white nationalists. White nationalists and black uh, separatists actually get along. Historically, they've been allies. Revolution is people work, so Black Hammer wants you to sign up today at blackhammer.org slash reparations. Learn to unite your friends and neighbors under the banner of anti-colonialism. Nice. He speaks like they're holding him hostage. Yeah, yeah, they, they're all, they've fucking got a gun to his head just off camera. God almighty. Oh, dude. Oh, God. There really aren't that many of them, but the, the people who unironically demonstrate white guilt make me want to crawl out of my skin. I've mentioned this before, but, like, have any of the... any of the black people watching right now, have you ever uh, dated a white person who was really weird about this? I'm so sorry about everything that my people have done to your people. You know, oh, I try to be... At least one of you here has experienced this, okay? Come on, I, I see some yeses already. Yeah. Um, oh, God. I know, of course, nobody's ever done this to me because I'm a white guy, so nobody's ever apologized for their existence to me. But um, I imagine that would make me want to die. Like, that, that would make me want to die. Um, yeah. Wow. It's white people, man. It's, it's white people. You guys seen that image? It, it's like a painting of, like, 
16th century Native Americans, you know? They're in, like, the underbrush. They're, like, covered in furs because it's winter. You know what I mean? One of them has got, like, a spear. They were probably hunting recently. And um, one of them says, the white man has been here. The second one says, how do you know? And the first one says, cuck porn. And he holds up a DVD. <laughs> <laughs> it's true though it's true <laughs>